Do you want to learn a simple but effective way of tracking your goals? So you know which of your goals you have not started on, which ones are in progress, and which ones you've already completed so you can feel good about yourself? In this video, I'll show you how to do just that using Notion. Hey folks, my name is Peter Akis and I teach people how to be more organized and more productive. This video is an excerpt from my new course, Big Picture Productivity. This course is all about consistently setting and achieving your goals. I want to give you a preview of what you'll learn when you enroll in the course. And this video is an excerpt from the course, so it's for you to get a taste. I hope you find this video super useful. If you do, you really want to check out the rest of the course. It's over at bigpictureproductivity.com. Looking forward to see you there, but for now, enjoy this video. Now that we have identified your goals and clarified them, let's set up a system to store your goals and to track them over time. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to do this using Notion. And we're moving into a part of the course where I'll be showing you a few things using Notion. And also in the next module, module three, I'll be showing you how to manage your tasks, teaching you how to manage your tasks, and I'll be demonstrating that using an app called Things. You don't have to use Notion right now. You don't have to use Things when we get to Module 3. These are just the apps that I'm using to demonstrate. So right now we're going to set up a way to keep track of your goals, and we're also going to add your actionable projects to Notion later, but you don't have to use Notion. You can use a different apps such as Airtable. You can use a bullet journal. You can find use like any random notebook that you can find. That's totally fine, but I'm going to demonstrate with Notion. Now, quick note here for those of you who suffer from shiny object syndrome. Notion is a very, very shiny object. And we're going to make really practical use of it in this course to keep track of your goals, your actionable projects, and a couple of other things. Do not take this as an opportunity to procrastinate by tinkering with this very shiny object. Just do what I'm demonstrating here in the course and avoid the temptation of tinkering around with it, of trying to add a lot of fluff. Those things are not going to get you a positive ROI, right? Just build the system um, of your own that I'll be demonstrating here and you can add to it over time if you want to, but don't add to it right now. That'll just distract from our mission, which right now is to find a way or to set up a way for you to keep track of your goals. Okay, now Notion is over at notion.so. So just go ahead, uh, browse there, install Notion. If you don't already have it installed, you can just enter your email and you get instructions. Then open Notion up. And when you do that, it's going to look something like this. Now we've got some things pre-populated in Notion and we don't really need those. So just go ahead and click new page. Just call it goals and um, choose the table database. And you might want to delete the existing goals database just to not get confused. And you can delete some of the other things as well. Um, but let's not uh, waste our time on that right now. Notion works with data, databases, tables. And one of the beautiful things about Notion is that you can, can connect them to each other. So we're actually going to create multiple tables and, and connect them. But let's start with goals. We're going to make a list of your goals here. So in this table, I can just start typing uh, the name of a goal. Let's say I'm going to say publish my first science fiction novel. That may be one of your goals. Another one of your goals may be uh, attend a meditation retreat. That's one of my goals. Oh, not meditation, meditation retreat. And you'll see that Notion comes uh, when it when you create an empty table, it creates some other fields such as files and tags. We don't need those. Oh, whoops. I want to delete this uh, property. There we go. Yes. Right click, delete the property. I did not want to delete that row. But we're going to create a new what Notion calls a property. And we're going to give each goal a status as well. So just type status here. And the, the type of this property of status is not going to be text. If you hover over type here, you see a bunch of things that, that um, this property can be. It could be a number, it could be a date, a person, a checkbox. Just click select. And what select will do 
is let you define options and then when you're adding a row to this table to this database so when you're adding a goal you you have to choose one of these well or you can choose zero um, and so the statuses that we want to work with are to achieve because you may have goals that you have yet to achieve then just click x so we'll add another one achieved because some goals you'll have achieved them at some point hopefully uh, click x again we also want to add a status called dropped because you may decide sometime that you don't want to work on a certain goal anymore. And then let's add a fourth status and call it never ending. And I'll explain what that means in a second. Okay. So now if I click on the status for a particular goal, I can just click here and it says select an option or create one. And then I can say, okay, this is a goal to achieve. This is a goal I've already achieved. This is something I've dropped. I was, you know, it was a goal. It's no longer a goal or it's never ending. Okay. So for something like publish my first science fiction novel, let's say that's a goal that I want to achieve, but I haven't achieved it yet. Attend a meditation retreat, the same thing. But now let's say I have a different goal and my goal is to um, meditate every uh, for 30 minutes a day. Let's say that's one of my goals. Now I could say, okay, that's something that I want to achieve. And then at some point uh, I managed to, to meditate for 30 minutes one day, then what am I gonna say? Am I gonna say that it's suddenly achieved now? If I stop doing that, then now I've unachieved this goal, that's very confusing. So because this is something that's ongoing, that's why uh, we've created this status called never ending. So this is a um, status for goals that never end. So something that you want to do from now until the end of time, or at least for, you know, for the indefinite future, um, or for goals that are more like um, abstract, like I want to feel comfortable in my body or something like that, right? Or like, uh, I want to be able to bench press this many kilos. That's great. But like, if you then lose that ability, right? Have you then unachieved your goal? No, so it's kind of like um, a never ending thing. Although I suppose the, the bench press example, you could also say, oh, I just want to be able to achieve that once, in which case maybe it's a goal that's uh, to achieve. Anyway, I think you get the point. Now we also want to add a notes column. So just go ahead, uh, create a new column, title it notes and just leave it be text. Uh, and so you can add some notes to yourself. Maybe you can be like, uh, oh, uh, talk to uh, Joe um, regarding editing the novel or something like that, right? You, you can add some notes. And this way you can click new, click new, click new, and you'll see there's a count here and you can just add all of your goals. So this may be a good point to pause the video and just take all of those goals, the very precisely formulated ones from the worksheet and just go ahead and add all of those now after you've set up the uh, data structure this way. Now, after you've added all of your goals, what we're gonna do is we're also going to create a table for your values. Remember we did the exercise of identifying what your, uh, your top values are. So just click new page and uh, call it values and create a table. And so these just delete the tags and the files columns because we don't need those. And here I want you to list all of the, the values that you have. Don't need to don't need to worry about just your top 10 or anything like that. Just like all the ones um, that are important to you. So, for example, we might have creativity. We might have citizenship, uh, freedom and recognition. And you'll have a bunch of these. Now, what are we going to do here? We're going to go back to our goals table and we're actually going to create a new column and we're gonna call this values. And I like to put the S in parentheses to indicate that there may be one or more. And then under property type, you just hover over text, you scroll down and you click relation and it says allow pages in this database to reference as pages in another. It's gonna ask you a database to pick from. So you'll click uh, values, click create relation and now what you can do is you can actually click here and pick one of these values that you entered in the values table. So publish my first science fiction novel. Let's say I want to do that because I want to do, you know, creativity, right? That's uh, this goal relates to my value of wanting to express myself, my creativity. Click there and then you'll see that this goal was linked to that uh, value. So if we go back to values. I can add another one, um, maybe like take care of my body or something like that, right? And so then I can go to uh, goals and I can say attend a meditation retreat. That's to take care of my body. And same thing for meditate for 30 minutes a day. Now you can also have multiple uh, goals. So let's say you want to publish your first novel as well to make some money. Um, 
then you might say, well, you know what, this actually also relates, oh, whoops, this also relates to my freedom. Because I'll make money and I'll need the money to, uh, you know, be able to do what I want to do. So that's, uh, you may have multiple values relating to one goal. And actually, if you go to a values right here, you'll see that Notion created this uh, column and it'll say for each value, it'll say which goals are related to that as well. Okay. Now, if you want, you can build out this database and uh, add a lot more views. But for now, um, this is enough. So make sure that you've added all of the goals and the precisely formulated versions of your goals uh, to your goals table here in Notion. Make sure that you list all of the values that you care about. Just click new, just keep adding those, okay? And then start uh, for every goal, matching it up with values. And the uh, value for you of doing this is to understand like why do your goals matter to you or to like remind yourself really of why these goals matter to you. And when you've got that all set up, that's great. Then you can move on um, to the next lesson. Hey, I hope you found that useful. Now you know a simple way of tracking your goals in Notion. Uh, it's not really about Notion, the app itself, of course. It's about having a way to track your goals. If you like this, you really want to check out my full course, Big Picture Productivity. It's over at bigpictureproductivity.com. You can also find the link in the description below the video. Now, I would love to hear what you thought about this video, so leave a comment. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you get more how-to videos like this that will help you be more organized and productive. Have a smashing day.